Hi, I'm Brandon Herwick, Open National Trainer, and joining me to teach this dance today is... Pam Powers, Open National Trainer. Today we're going to do a dance from Germany, which is called... The Hammerschmied's Gazelle. Which means... The Blacksmith's Apprentice. This dance imitates the movements of a blacksmith. We're going to learn this dance first in pairs, and then we're going to learn this dance in groups of four. This dance has two parts. In part one, we're going to learn two components of part one. So please face your partner. As you have your students and partners, they're going to first learn six counts of movements. We're going to start by tapping our thighs, one, then tapping our bellies, two, clapping your hands together, three, then clapping the right hand with your partner's right hand, your left hand with your partner's left hand, and then both hands together. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's the first component of part one. The way you can teach this is to have all of your students in pairs, possibly in two lines, teach that first component. Second component of part one, which starts at the four, five, and six. So have your students face each other. They're gonna start with the right hand, then with the left hand, then together, and then go back down to the thighs for the first count, one. So let's start back up here at four, five, six, then start it over one, two, three. Here we go. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. As you probably can tell, as you do this, you want to try to speed up. Try to remind your students to stay on the beat. Right now, we're going to have these two pairs practice component one and component two. You're going to start at four, five, six. You're going to start at one, two, three. Ready? Let's try it three times. Go ahead. <laughs> Excellent. Great work. After you do part one, teach part two, which is a simple star rotation. So partners will put their right hand in the middle, they could be touching, they could just meet in the middle, and you're going to walk in a clockwise motion. Halfway through, you put in your left hand, and you would walk in a counterclockwise position. Then they'd meet their partner again for the first part of the dance. Pam's going to show us the next progression of the dance, which will be in groups of four. If you have an odd number of pairs, then you can have one pair practice in the pair with the rest in groups of four. Pam? Great, Brandon. So I'm going to ask Shannon and Ben to come join us to make a four. And notice that your partner sets up across from you, and so we're ready to do the clapping pattern in pairs now. I'm going to have Ben step in a little bit. And so Brandon and I are going to start with the second hand clapping pattern we learned. Shannon and Ben are going to do the first hand clapping pattern. So what happens is one pair will be up high while the other is doing the low, and then we do the low while they do the high. So it looks like this. Ready, six, and go up. notice when you start to teach this with groups is notice when Brandon was teaching the clapping he counted out four five six even though that was where we were starting while Ben and Shannon were doing one two three so keep in mind when you teach this you it's hard to count it for the students while you're doing it so it's important to give them sort of a one, two, three, ready, start now. And then they can begin the practice of the up and the down. It's also fun to switch. Let Ben and, and uh, Shannon do the second part first and let Brandon and myself do the first part. So let them switch around so they learn all the different, the different ways of doing this. 